Welcome to the Palm Tikcholaway channel. October 26. This is the day when the second fishing season for anchovies and white anchovies will begin in the north central part of the Peruvian Sea, the area between the northern end of Peru's territorial waters and the degrees 16 degrees. OOS. The quota was set at 1,682,000 tons of anchovies, which, the Peruvian Ministry of Production points out, ensures that operations remain within recommended sustainable limits. It is estimated that by the end of the season, more than 5 million tons of spawning anchovies will remain, which will keep the population within the limits recommended by the Peruvian Sea Institute MR, to ensure sustainability. It's sustainability. In keeping with the sustainability of fishing activities, this authorization is based on a reliable scientific report provided by MARC to assess the situation of resource reserves in the North Central region and establish exploitation prospect, produce added, recalling that the Peruvian Marine Institute. The authorization of this fishing season is a positive signal for the country's economy and ensures the continuity of an important activity. Compliance with these regulations is essential to ensure sustainability of the anchovy fishery in Peru and the prosperity of the national economy. Anchovies are small fish that according to historical records can reach 20 centimeters. Maximum length. It lives in cold waters with temperatures ranging from 16 degrees Celsius to 23 degrees Celsius in summer and from 14 degrees Celsius to 18 degrees Celsius in winter. Anchovies are keystone species in the various marine ecosystems of the coast. This species is probably the mainstay in the food chain of the sea. It has a plankton-based diet, with diatoms, euphoshans and copepods being its most frequent prey. This species can be considered the central zone of the hourglass, as it is the zone that captures the energy that produces primary and secondary productivity and transmits it to the higher levels of the food chain.
This species is exploited throughout the Peruvian coast. According to the Ministry of Production, during the first industrial anchovy fishing season of 2022, unloadings were larger. Anchovies are extremely important for the sustainability of marine biodiversity, human consumption, industrial and artisanal fishing. Anchovies have been a staple in Peru since pre-Inca times. Evidence for this is the record of the use of this resource by the ancient inhabitants of the Carol civilization. Anchovies are used to trade for other resources such as food and cotton, and are the most commonly found fish in Carol. It is worth recalling that, according to testimonies collected from artisanal fishermen in Viqueta, Coleta Carpe, and Huacho, the anchovy fishery allowed them to have permanent employment when the fishing seasons began during the year. Ministry of Production permits. Sori sold in Taiwanese restaurants often emphasize that it is imported from Japan, but in fact, Taiwan's sori production has surpassed Japan since 2013 and become the largest in the world. Off the coast of Hokkaido, Japan, sori catches in Japan have decreased significantly over the past two years due to poor fishing, causing endless complaints from Japanese fishermen. Sori, an indispensable dish on the Japanese autumn table, may face a shortage this year. Japanese fishermen, this type of fishing is so terrible, there are fewer boats going out to sea. The catch of sori in 2013 was just over 140,000 tons, about half less than five years ago. Catches have continued to be sluggish in recent years. Continued sluggish fishing has caused wholesale sori prices in Japan to reach new highs, with this year the asking price per kilogram is 15,500 yen, nearly double that of last year. What's wrong with Japanese sori? Sori is a migratory fish that lives in the Pacific Ocean and moves with the seasons. Recently, the number of sori swimming to the coast of Japan has been decreasing. In 2009 there were nearly 1,800 tons of fish caught offshore. This year, there were only 4 tons, the quantity has decreased sharply. 
the number of sorry fish in offshore waters has decreased significantly and the cause is essentially related to Taiwan. Most boats come from Korea, Taiwan and mainland China. Most of them are ships from Korea, Taiwan and mainland China. It turns out that sori is a Japanese offshore fish. Japanese fishing boats are generally small fishing boats with a tonnage of 5 to 200 tons. Large 1,000 ton ocean going ship, just considering the size. The difference is 20 times, Taiwanese fishing boats will catch all the sori fish first on the high seas. Video from the Department of Fisheries, combining sori with various additional ingredients can give it a completely different and special taste. Sori has been listed as a key development project by the Department of Fisheries. Since 2013, Taiwan's sori catch has surpassed Japan and become the world's largest producer. Taiwanese, because Taiwan is where sori is produced, it is very cheap, nutritious, rich and has a strong flavor that goes well with beer. Faced with the challenge from Taiwan, Japanese fishermen can now only switch to catching sardines. NHK reporter, net fishing boats use light to attract fish. Originally planning to catch sori this season, but this year the target is sardines. The catch is not good, last year was not good at all. I want to say autumn. Is the era of sori over? For ocean sori, we think there will be great growth in the future. Being the same sori, Taiwan and Japan have different feelings, with an estimated resource of about 1.9 million tons. However, according to a survey by the Japanese Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fisheries, global sori resources are constantly decreasing. A sori war on the high seas, I hope they don't fight, it would be better if both sides suffered lot. Ini tempat dia, ini kita pelatannya.